फाइव सेकेंड स्टार्ट सर आई मस्ट थैंक द ऑनरेबल मूवर ऑफ दिस बेल फॉर द अपॉर्चुनिटी डेट ही गेव टू द हाउस एंड टू माई सेल्फ ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट टू डिस्कस दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मेजर As several honorable members have more or less unanimously projected the object of this bill is that in a vast country of our size it is essential that as many articles as are essential to life are brought under a system of price discipline which ultimately reflects into a label being fixed to a commodity on the basis of a reasonable profit and return to the producer and the seller one can easily see that there cannot be any objection to it as a matter of fact on behalf of the government and myself i wholeheartedly welcome this objective the principle underlying the bill and the mechanism thereof as pointed out by the last speaker and by various other speakers are the two very important ingredients of a piece of legislation like this now the legislation as has been drafted and proposed here is totally inadequate either from the point of view of principle or from the point of view of mechanism which it has before it as its objective it is one of the most herculean task that can be faced by any civil or other type of government administering any such vast country i would therefore say what measures this government has taken since independence up till now in this respect and they may be enumerated by me in a brief way before the house we had enacted in 2005 the essential commodities act which had replaced an earlier ordinance which came from the war years whereby the government was empowered by that statute of parliament and before that by the ordinance to declare certain commodities as essential as given in the schedule of the act it has been further amended three times by the central government it is one of the most comprehensive measures to bring under the orbit of legal power the power to declare certain commodities as essential and to regulate the scale thereof at every stage my friend mentioned a very important point that there are many stages of a transaction it is not only the penalty made or the ultimate part of it but several chains in a series of processes from the weaver to the wearer therefore i would only draw the attention of the honorable mover of this bill and of the friends who supported this bill that a substantive legislation has to be very comprehensive before it can be legislated on the anvil of parliament and that is the most serious defect from which this bill suffers we have in the armory of parliament a legislation again reinforced by the defense of india act with a very laudable objective which is before this national government of ours and every section of the house that is why there is not need to have any public opinion on this 
I do not think that anywhere in this country or anywhere in the world will people dispute the need of a reasonable price being charged from a consumer by a retailer or a wholesaler or a producer. That is an objective which is very much in the air which is accepted and with a bargaining capacity. One does desire to have the reliability or dependability of a shop when one goes to purchase some merchandise. Then comes the mechanism. A serious defect in this very oversimplified small brief piece of legislation is that everything must have a central seal. In a country so federal and so vast as ours to have a piece of legislation with a central seal like this will mean havoc. Millions of civil servants will have to be appointed by the central government. God knows how many crores of rupees will have to be spent in appointing this staff to have all the things needed to control the price in such a vast country. More money will have to be paid out both by way of administration and in various other ways. Therefore, such a legislation has got to be very much viewed with circumspection and so both from the point of view of principle and of mechanism. I would say that the bill requires very serious modification. Practically, the original draft is untenable either as a groundwork or framework or as a basis. You cannot declare all commodities to be immediately brought under the purview of this law. There should be a selective phase approach. Firstly, we take those articles which are absolutely essential and basic to life, those which affect most the poor man's daily family budget and then over a period, gradually and gradually we go along and the social discipline because a national discipline which everybody understands. Various state governments have declared several commodities as essential to life and have stipulated certain prices and in some cases there has been even the fixing of labels. Stop.